Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to cook, prepare, and eat balut. Do you know what balut is? Balut is a developing embryo, usually a duck inside of an egg. It is cooked, it is eaten, and it is well loved. You can find it all over Southeast Asia, including Cambodia, Thailand, Vietnam, and Southern China, but is very popular in the Philippines. Now, I had my first taste of balut years ago. My dear friend Ken showed me how to eat it. It was the first time I had it. I enjoyed it, but I have never cooked it myself. So I went to the Chinese market the other day and there they were for sale. I've never cooked them myself. So today I'm gonna to show you how to prepare them and to eat them. Balut are nutritious, tasty, portable, and they've been eaten for centuries. So I purchased two eggs, they were 99 cents each, and I put them in some boiling water and cooked them for 25 minutes. Balut is often served with a bit of salt or some seasoned vinegar. I've got some palm vinegar here that also has some garlic and some chilies in it. Yum, yum, yum. So we're gonna try it both ways. And you know they're duck eggs because they are much larger than a chicken egg. So you can see the difference in size between the two eggs. Duck chicken. But I've heard that balut also can be made with chicken eggs as well, but ducks are traditional. So there's an air space either on the top or the bottom of the egg. I'm just going to try the top. I think it's on the other side. So yes, do you hear that sharp crack? That means there is the air space below like that. And you don't want to make the opening too large because there's soup in there. And that's what we're going to sip out. A little bit of membrane and you can take a little bit of salt and drink that soup up. Here we go, itadakimasu. Mmm, tastes like chicken soup. Chicken broth is slightly eggy, but that little bit of salt, delicious. Now we're gonna continue peeling back the shell. And you can see some of the egg yolk in there. Now the egg yolk is what the embryo feeds on while it's developing. A bit graphic, I know, but it's food. And so many people love this and it is a tradition and one that a lot of people take pride in. The shell is much harder than a chicken egg, it's thicker. And there's the balut. I'm gonna have my first bite with a bit of salt. Itadakimasu. Mm, it's eggy. It tastes a bit of chicken, but it's tender, really full, kind of chickeny protein flavor to it, and very, very soft texture. It's delicious. And that was just with a little bit of salt. Now let's try it with a bit of chili and palm vinegar, just right on top. Mmm. Mm, I really like it with the vinegar. The vinegar adds some acidity, some added complexity. It cuts some of the richness of the egg yolk and that chili in there, a little bit of heat, so good. Now, we're coming to the bottom of the balut. This is pretty much it. And this portion, which is very hard, it's so hard and rubbery and bouncy. Oftentimes this is discarded because it's so hard. It's completely edible, but it doesn't have too much flavor, and it's very, very firm, almost like a rubber ball. So there you have it. That's how you cook, prepare, and eat balut, a very simple, easy, nutritious, and much-loved street food from the Philippines. If you ever have an opportunity to try it, I would highly recommend it just to have the experience of trying it and perhaps understanding a little bit more about another culture. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.